May 1st, 2016, first club practice. I'm using these uh, camouflage clubs that nobody wanted to buy from the WJFstore.com. Uh, can you see them? Uh, if you want to buy these, uh, I would think they've either increased or decreased in value now that they've appeared in this video. Uh, and I will be juggling them, training them, so that they juggle better for you if you buy them. Uh, aside from that, I did juggle clubs maybe six months ago. I was training Penn, I was helping him work on his club stuff, and he's like, motivate me, show me what five clubs looks like. And, uh, well, here's what it looked like. Yeah, I just, well, first of all, I wasn't warmed up, okay? I just picked up five clubs, which, yeah, sure, everybody can do that now. But uh, I didn't learn correctly. I require a lot of warm up just to be able to keep the, the angles right on five clubs. Vova will be the first one to tell you that my five club angles are all jacked up. One, one hand throws more angle than the other. I've been trying to fix that. And don't even get him started on my four club pattern, even though I fixed it since the first time he saw it. Anyway, let's get to practice. I'm going to start with singles. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm locking in the doubles. Let's try. This is not as high as my triples normally would go. Working with a low ceiling, as you can see. But that's actually not too far off from what I would do. Uh, relax. Oh, geez. The three of 360 <laughs> would be very interesting today. But most importantly, notice that whenever I start again, I bring everything back to the center and I start from here. I don't just start from wherever I ended up because chances are if I stopped, it's because I, I stopped because it wasn't going well. Always bring everything back to the center. Keep everything narrow inside your body frame. One of the main problems I see when people go to do like a flash of three clubs or when they're going to five, the first one they throw lower because they're afraid they won't have the accuracy. Even if they don't know they're afraid and that's the reason why, it is. Because without any sort of frame of reference for that first throw, you don't, you don't have anything to aim at. After that first throw is up there, then you, know, you can look at that and go, oh, okay, that's where the second throw goes, right next to it. Not, not that next to it, but you know, without that, uh, that frame of reference, you're kind of just relying on muscle memory and visualization. I just kind of think, same place they are right now, just follow through a little higher, whoops, and don't hit the ceiling. And that works pretty well. That was not good. First one was too low. See? Same, well, if you have this down, right? You know, and that's why it doesn't work if you have like this kind of pattern to start with, because then what are you gonna do? You gotta change the pattern of this, or you're gonna have really high wide throws. Try fitting seven clubs into that kind of pattern. Let's see how my back crosses feel. Two of them felt pretty good. How about just three? Okay, I was about to just run it. Hey, the knobs on these are pretty good. Oh, well, I guess I am going to run it. I guess you do this a few million times, it kind of stays with you for the rest of your life. Let's see what that looks like from the side. Probably more of an angle than I would like. Let's see what doubles feels like. They feel like they're overspun. Boy, I have had a turbulent relationship with back crosses. So line them up on the side of the shoulder. Nothing should come in front of your face. Keep them the wider the better because you have the whole handle to work with. So actually better to go too wide than too narrow. See, once you're, once you're in here, you got to go out here. But if you're here, you're coming here anyway. So you're still coming from the right direction. That, wrong direction. Uh, first one's really hard to figure out for me. 
Keep it out there. There you go. Okay. No. Why am I still going? I don't know. Stubborn. Let's try some 360s in, uh, in singles. Well, I'll try one in triples. First, without the spin. And it's a good thing I did not spin. That would have ended up in my nose. Hey, all right, let's try singles. Ooh. Ah, yeah. First one, you know, you would think, oh, the last one was not high enough. Work on the last one. Actually, you have to work on the first one so that you have enough time to follow through with the last one. You can't, you, you can't find more time with the last throw if you didn't make that time with the first two. See, overspun. There we go. That's better. Overspun. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's good enough for today. We can't avoid the body throws. Let's just go for a flash. Let's just go for one per side. Okay. This is another one that I've done millions of, millions of times, so I better still have retained most of it. Two. First one's not coming forward enough. I'm very happy with that. Just gotta work on these. I think I did that in the retro routine. Yeah. Did I do helicopters? I don't know. Well, if I did, I still can. I doubt I did chin rolls. But if I did, there they are. Let's try some crotch madness. I'm feeling a little mad. So that's a reverse. Whoops. One here, one there. And then reverse. Whoop. So you really got to bend and look at it coming up at you to keep it from going away from you. It's a slight different body position. That's why you'll kind of lean back, lean forward, back, forward. Okay. Ah, it's too fast. Need to somehow make those throws lofty. Crotch clearance. It's all about crotch clearance. Crotch clearance. I need a crotch clearance sail. Ah, that was too high. Oh, 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 no. Different, same, same, different, same, same, different, same, same, different. Oh, close. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Ah! One. Two. Three. Ah, come on. One. Two, three, four. That's fine, it's fine. Okay, here's the four club pattern that brings Vova just so much delight. Oh. Yeah, okay, no, that's, that's much worse than it really should be. Hold on, wait. Oh God, I never really perfected those inside to outside angles. You know why? Because when I learned this, you know, it was in these columns and when you do this, I mean, look at the angles. It just doesn't matter, and it can go on forever. You can even, you know, make this extreme versions of it, and your four clubs will last. So, like, oh, I can do four clubs. Really? Can you? So, going from starting with them angled in to trying to reverse that to this, good luck. And the left never really caught on. That's why my six was always so jacked up. Yeah. 
But now I can do, nope, it still, <laughs> it still goes into this really ugly, I don't know, maybe some people like the way that looks, but uh, I think that's really ugly. So yeah, even numbers with clubs, not my thing. So worked on seven clubs, way more than six. Didn't get very far with either. Oh, you know what I did? Those back crosses, those synchronized back crosses. Oh, let me first get this down, it's way too wide. Oh joy, that's gonna be a hoot. Oh, this is the part of the retro routine I am not going to enjoy at all. But it only has to be good as it was when I did it. Well, that's my transition into alternating. Okay. How about just two good ones? Nope. That was a little better. Oh my. I'd sell these clubs right now if there were a buyer. Just to end this practice. Well, here's the secret to this one. They're not really thrown at the same time. The better I get at it, the more it looks like they're thrown at the same time. But in reality, to work on this, I would go right, left. Yeah, all right, that's what I should do, I guess. Right, left, right, left. Hey, that's better. Whoa, shit. Oh, no. Two. Oh. You know how visualization can screw you, is thinking about what you don't want to do. Sometimes will, you know, be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like on that last throw, I'm just thinking, just don't hold on to them too long. And guess what? I held on to them too long. Just visualize perfection and just think about that. That doesn't mean it'll always work, but at least you're not shooting yourself in the foot with bad visuals. Oh, come on! I actually would have taken that one. As crappy as it was, I just want to move on. There we go. I'll take it! Wobbly. I'll take that. Sure. Get ready for some crooked ass back crosses. Oops. <laughs> Not just crooked, but narrow. Oh. Oh, okay, that felt familiar. I'm stopping on that one. Okay, this has got to be better than it went in Penn's backyard because I'm warmed up now. I'll just do a flash to start. Yeah, that seems like it should work. <laughs> oh. Angles, angles, okay. Hey, I'm kind of getting the same joy out of this as when I first learned five clubs. Just being able to see it and, you know, being the one doing it. That's so weird. This was always the bare minimum with my five club practice, but to get to a point where just juggling five clubs makes you happy again, and happy is, you know, I'm using that term relative to my general state of happiness. That was happier than I've been all day. Not much competition, but still. It's good to find something that makes you a little bit happier. So, what that means is it's all downhill from here. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Boy, feels like my, what my seven club attempts used to feel like. The good ones, though. Not much more I think I can do with this today. But who knows, maybe if I take a short rest. Fairly content with that. That 1987 through 1990 style of uh, ending with a five club back cross flash and acting like you're the shit. I just, I'm not gonna strike a Jesus pose at the end of it. That was actually easier than four clubs. Let's probably practice it more with five. Great, now I want to do 10. Can't just be happy with that. First time back with clubs. Nice five club back cross flash, but no. Since it went so well, I have to push myself. And to make it even more difficult, they have to be perfectly spaced between these two bars up here. Which, you know, if you're gonna do it, you should do it perfectly, so that really shouldn't make it any more difficult. It makes it difficult to do it badly, but that's about it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get my groove on. That would not have counted for anything. Nope. Remember folks, this was the big move in the 80s. People would have circled around and watched, waited for me to hit it, and then been glad they waited, even if I didn't hit it. Just to see someone who's capable of even trying it. See that guy, he's doing, he's trying five club back crosses. There's only three people in the world who can do this. And of course we're ignorant of the Russians, but everyone else. Yep, I owned it. I did do a uh, three up 360 in triple, so let's just get that out of the way. Just one, please. narrow, I suppose. There we go. Oh, there we don't go. You know, the same trick really applies. There's nothing more you have to do than just follow through a little more, and if your pattern is set up right, it's just the same placement. See? Just a little higher. There you go. Never got the control over singles that you know, 14-year-olds have today, or 15 or 16 or 17-year-olds, my singles, first of all, I have to start in doubles and then drop down into it. And then they look like that. Today, anyway. You know what would be cool is if we could invent some clubs that actually could go through each other. Oh, it's so hopeless. Hey, personal best, thank you. All right, so write this date down, May 1st. 2016, the day Jason Garfield started practicing clubs again for the WJF Retro Routine at WJF 12, SkillCon 3, SkillCon 2016. It's going to be a fantastic event. We've got a whole new category of stuff that's going to be at SkillCon that you're all going to be able to participate in and watch and just, it's the most uh, variety filled event that you will ever experience. I've gone through great lengths and great trouble to coordinate this with dozens of other people, other event organizers, so it's really 
uh, a very big skill event uh, that you all should check out at least once. And once you go to it once, you're going to, you know, go to it again. <laughs>